Hi, good evening. Uh, today we are going to have one more problem from seating arrangement chapter. In the last session we had a fantastic problem where we discussed eight persons were seated around a circular table. Some were facing inside, some were facing outside. I hope you might have learned some new points from that. And as many students are sending mails to me mentioning that they would like to have some problems based on linear arrangement also. So, I have taken this problem. Linear arrangement actually even for this type of problems also, uh, data, very huge data they give in the examination. So, I have chosen a problem which is having moderate difficulty level, but it is a very good problem to understand this type of problems, right? For that reason, I have taken this. Now, see, I have written this problem in this, uh, I am going to do the same thing after this video. Uh, I just type the question in the description part. After the video, below the video, the description about the video is there. While watching the video, you just have the problem, typed problem there. But for your convenience, again I have written here, just uh, note down the problem if possible or else just observe this one. What exactly is this question? Here, I read, you, read out uh, quickly for you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H seated on a straight line, right, uh, with the equal distance between or among them. Some of them are facing south. Observe this one. Some of them are facing south while some are facing north. We don't know how many are facing south, how many are facing north. Even I need to find out that one also. Then A sits fourth to the right of F. F sits at one of the extreme ends. Then both the immediate neighbors, both the immediate neighbors of A face north. D sits third to the right of A. Both D and A face the same direction. Only one person sits between D and C. C sits third to the right of G. H sits immediate left of C. Then B does not face north. H faces the same direction as E. B does not sit at any extreme ends of the line. This is the problem. Right? So now see, uh, when the questions are like this, most of the cases we need to take a second arrangement also. Two possibilities we have to examine. In most of the cases, again, one of the two possibilities is going to be eliminated and finally we, we may be leaving with left out with the, uh, one arrangement only. But sometimes what happens at the end, both the options may be right. They may be questions, different type of, uh, types of questions they may uh, like uh, ask based on that one. Anyway, this question is simple. Again, we are going to means we are going to solve this question by taking two possibilities there. And slowly we have to avoid taking second possibility by visualizing the data by visualizing the data by imagining that one you can eliminate the second option. Since it is the first question, I am going to solve this one with the two options. There are two possibilities there. Now, let us take this one. Total eight persons are there. I am taking eight dots here. So, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So, now here question is A sits fourth to the right of F. F sits at one of the extreme ends. They have given one of the extreme ends, but they have not given whether it is on the left end or on the right end. Remember for this type of questions, our left is left end of the row, our right is right end of the row. So they have not given whether he is on the left end or right end. Moreover, I don't know whether F is facing north or south. For that reason, imagine in this way. I am taking in this way, F is facing north. When F is facing north, a sits fourth to the right of F. One, two, three, four. It should be A. Okay. The next one they have given A sits fourth to the right of F. F sits at one of the extreme ends. So one end left end I have taken. At the same time, it is possible that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now here, again the same thing I am taking, taking A on the right end. So, G, E, this one, A, not A, I'm sorry, F should be, right? F should be on the right hand. Now, A is on the fourth right, fourth right means 1, 2, 3, 4, it should be A. In this case, A should be on the right side of F. So, F must be facing south because a person who is facing north, for him, this is the right side, this is the left side. A person who is facing south, this is right side, this is left side. Alright, so now both the immediate neighbors of A face uh, north, whoever it may be, this is north and even this is also north. In this case also, this is north and this also north. 
all right so now try to eliminate that one every time when you take a new data you have to think in this way am i able to eliminate any of the possibilities with the given information in this way you need to think now take up the next information there this is over both the immediate neighbors over then d sits uh, third to the right of a both d and a face the same direction d sits third to the right of a but i don't know whether a is facing north or south suppose a is facing north d sits third third right first second third it should be d if a is facing north but equally a can face south also now first second third it can be d so don't confirm it here now take it in this way d d can be either here or here now in the second case also try to go for this one whether i am able to eliminate this one so now here a 1 2 3 it can be d or a 1 2 3 it can be d so now two more possibilities are there now don't make the mistake of making two more possibilities because that is quite cumbersome just confine only to these two try to eliminate any one with the given data next one next one they have given d and a face the same direction keep it aside now only one person sits between d and c c sits third to the right of g h sits immediate left to c another another important tip i'll give you while reading the data over a period of time over a period of time if you practice well you can have this one try to read the data entire data at once and try to segregate that one according to the given arrangement how to segregate this one you see only one person between d and c c sits third to the right of g right then h sits immediate left of c now start with d c and uh, c relation with h then c relation with the g in one way or the other way we take the information says only one person between d and c suppose d is here only one person it can be c but the information given that uh, h should be immediate left of c only one person between d and c and h should be immediate left of c here it cannot be h already occupied by a for that reason i cannot keep d of course c cannot be there now only place for d should be here according to this this is d and this is c and immediate left of c it should be h now i can take the relation between c and g c sits third to the right of g c's place is depending upon that of g's place c sits third to the right of g first second third because here there is no place first second third g c should be immediate right side of g so g should be facing south only then c should be on the right side of a g now take up the same data here now you need to think in this way am i able to eliminate this one with this data try for that one suppose d is here only one person this side that's that's why there is no possibility one person it can be c but h should be immediate left of c i cannot keep c here so this arrangement is gone now try for this one d one person c and immediate left of c that can be h there is a room for that one now this is c 1 2 3 there is a place for g so even i cannot eliminate with this data i am taking in this way now this is d one person between d and c and h is immediate left of c then c should be third to the right of g 1 2 3 it is g again in this case g should be facing south so i have not eliminated anything now go for the next data b does not face north now you see b does not face north what do you mean by b does not face north yes whatever you told you thought is right when b does not face north means b should be facing south but where shall i go for b here so this is there is no place think it over no place no place here also and it does not face north so b cannot be here b must be here b should be facing south now all are over a b c d and e is not there so e should be here and this now go for this one b does not face north there is no place for b this is vacant but this is facing north b cannot be here now it should be b facing south it should be e see even with this one also i am not able to eliminate anything they give the questions like this you have to go with the, both the arrangements parallelly then after that d's place is confirmed a's place also confirmed why should not why shouldn't we go for this data both in this is one d sits third to the right of a now d sits third to the right side of a 
means A should be facing south. First, second, third. And both A and D face the same direction. That is so. Now here also, this D should be third to the right of A. It should be down. And this is also to the south. See, I have not eliminated. I cannot eliminate anything so far. Then go for the next one. B does not face north over. H faces same direction as E. Now H is here. E is here. E is already north. H should be not. H faces same direction as E. Even I cannot eliminate the, this one. Now try this one. H faces same direction as E. It should be this way. So observe students here. Till this extent, I am not able to eliminate any of the two possibilities. Right? Examiner will give the questions like this. Particularly the exams which they are conducting for the last four years. Many exams they are asking the questions in this way. Now finally one thing is left out. B does, does not sit at any extreme ends. Now this is happy ending for us, right? So B does not sit at any of the extreme ends. So this arrangement is wrong. This is wrong, right? So now B is not at extreme end. It should be B in this way. I need to confirm this. This is the final arrangement for us. We got all the places and we got all the directions. Hope you understood this question, right? Now this is only a basic level question based on some are facing north, some are facing south. In the next video, I take one question where you need to take three possibilities. That's a fantastic question taken very recently conducted SBIPO examination. So for that reason, I'm going to take that one. I'll show you how to go for Three, three arrangements. At a time I have to take three. So simultaneously we have to check and go for that. And one more information that uh, probably you can expect the notifications, bank notifications and other notifications very soon. So prepare well. I am going to give you as and when I get the time. I am going to give you very good questions. And next chapter is I may go for this puzzle test also. Most of many students are asking for puzzle test and the questions based on seating arrangement puzzle test and blood relations combination. I'll explain you that one in a fantastic way, right? And finally, I'd like to give you one thing. If you have any new questions with you or any doubts, you feel free to send that one to this ID. I'm writing the ID here. You just write it down uh, uh, on my name only. You just send this one. Chakravarti, C-H-A-K-R-A-V-A-R-T-H-Y, Chakravarti, sir, S-I-R, sir at gmail.com if you have any doubts you just forward that one to me i'm going to solve it for you or else you can send it through whatsapp to the number 9618702466 send it through whatsapp and my very intention is students uh, that uh, everybody should learn aptitude every student should learn aptitude so i'm doing my best uh, to what extent it is possible right thank you very much